I guess personnel things, can you tell me what Jamal Simmons' situation is? He decided he wanted to uh, quit football and quit school, so he's uh, done. Okay. Um, uh, Desmond Roberts, is he here? He's here. Not here, but we have exams. Some guys are studying. Some guys are studying. Um, Jarvis Bird? He's studying. Coach, uh, you talk about Tony Baker coming back after two straight years, obviously not what he wanted, but what's it like seeing him back out there again? He looked like a little better today to me than he did in spring practice, so I think he's felt better through the summer conditioning program. I think he gained a little bit of confidence through spring practice, so hopefully that will continue, so we'll see how it goes. As a coach, what do you think of a guy that's he's obviously worked so hard just to get back again? I mean, how do you feel about a player like well, I that? I think we're all rooting for him and hope that he can make it back. He could be a great addition to our football team. And so we all want him to get back and play. So as I said, we're rooting for him, and it would be a great story. Coach, you talked about Wayne Maddox. You mentioned his name a lot about maybe taking the lead role and trying to fill Nate Irving's shoes. Is it a lot of pressure on him? Is it more of a collective thing for the whole defense? How do you view that? Well, you know, we moved Manning in there to start with after a lot of conversations. So those two guys are going to fight it out right now because that's a spot we got to solve. So you know, I think we'll have to give it some time and see how it works out. But, uh, you know, Dwayne played last year. He's got some experience there. Should be have a little more confidence. But Terrell Manning was a heck of an inside linebacker, you know, when he came here. So we'll see how it works out. So, Manning, you moved inside? Mm -hmm. Don't you may have answered this already coming in on the second wave, but an abbreviated first day like this, is it a little frustrating that you can't kind of get the first day stuff out of the way? No, you never complain about the weather because you have no control about it, so you kind of worry about the things you have control. You know, we, we missed about a half an hour of practice, which, you know, is not good, but it's not the worst thing to happen to us, I don't think. Did you see anything that you liked today? Well, I think... The whole continuity of the offense and defense because it's the third year of a program. We've had some guys around that are in there. You can tell who the freshmen are because they don't know where to go and what they're doing. But, you know, there's a distinct difference in the upper class in the way they approach practice and how they work. Is that how far did you get through? 60 percent? We got uh, probably missed a half an hour, so that's about, we got 75 percent of the practice. So they got exams tomorrow? Yeah, we're still on exams, so we've still got a lot of work to do. And so that's why we won't try to stay out here tonight. We'll let them go. Fields. Back Fields. Tomorrow, right? Fields. Yeah, we're back tomorrow, same time. I mean, we got exam day tomorrow, so tomorrow's schedule same as today. Fields got to be so wet that you couldn't take him back out there anyway, I would guess. I'd go back out there. Could you? Yeah. Okay. I would. Uh -huh. <laughs> the defensive field, the far field's good. Okay. <laughs> Come on, it's rain. Coach, where's Tony Baker at right now? As I said, he's a little better than he was at spring practice, but, you know, it's the first day he's worked hard to get back there. But he's got to prove himself now for 20-some days. So we'll see how he is as we go on. How important is it that he gets out of I think he could be a great help for our football team, so we're all rooting for him and hope he gets back. Hey, Coach, J.J. Ferris is not on the roster. Is he not coming in as well? No. Anything else? Okay. Thanks.